Good day guys, I'm AJ and welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to be having a look at a small but significant change to the way GD Script in Godot 4.3 handles method signatures. Hidden amongst some of the bigger changes in the Godot 4.3 update is a change to how our method signatures are automatically displayed in GD Script. So in Godot 4.2, we are used to simple methods with no mention of the expected return type. If we create a brand new scene, add a script to it, this is what we get. Very simple methods, no return type explicitly stated. If we do the exact same thing in Godot 4.3, however, add a script, here we go. We are seeing quite clearly that we explicitly state no return type is expected or no return is expected for our ready function or our process function. So that is a key difference in the way GD script is doing things on your behalf. You have always been able to, well, at least for the last couple of versions, been able to explicitly state the return type. However, when you have added a method, um, in the GD script browser there, it hasn't done it for you. So this is something you can add, but why is this a good thing? Well, the number one reason is improved cl code <laughs> clarity. Explicit return types like void or bool or int make it immediately clear whether a method returns a value enhancing readability and understanding of the code. Number two is enhanced type safety. Specifying return types helps catch errors at compile time, reducing the likelihood of runtime errors and ensuring that methods behave as expected. And number three, consistency and maintainability. Consistently using return types across your code base standardizes method definitions, making the code easier to maintain, modify, um, and, and look after in those larger projects especially. So let's also have a look at an example of a different um, stated type here. So let's create a new function called player health, for example, um, and what we want our player health to return is an integer. So we might be looking for an integer of 100. So what we've got there is our ready function and our process function. We do not want anything returned, so we are letting uh, the system know. But for our player health function, we are looking for an integer and an integer only. Well, I hope that helps clear up why your GD script in Godot 4.3 looks a little bit different in the boilerplate than Godot 4.2. So if you enjoyed that video, please subscribe to the channel and give the video a like and a share, and that will help others just like yourself who are learning game development to see the video as well. Thanks very much, and I hope you learned something.